battle of the day for this, our main event of the evening. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, DC, a lot of hype on this fight. It is now underway, and on one side, you've got someone who relies primarily on their hands. The other fighter is a real five-tool player, so perhaps that athlete will be looking to take this fight to the ground. We'll see. He has got to use every tool. He is the more skilled guy. He is the more well-rounded guy. He's got to wrestle. He's got to use kicks, knees, and elbows in order to try to confuse the boxer because if he is singular, if he plays that game and he is unbalanced, he will find himself laying on his back, looking up at the lights, because this guy, this boxer, has tremendous power. The left punch is there for him. Oh! Ali's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Chin down, hands up. So more output, at least, in the early going. It's okay. Keep going. Big power shot there. Another good stick to the head. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Straight right hand now, just misses. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Muhammad Ali gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, nice count, yeah. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Swing and a miss with that punch by Ali. Oh, nice low kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Straight right is there. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Good job defensively to block that punch. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, effective use of the jab by Ali. Straight punch is good. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Mommy's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting all sweet. I mean, he's getting better. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying. Oh! Effective use of the jab there by Choi. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, wow. Huge uppercut. That's going to leave him off. Oh, a big left hand. 90 seconds to go in the round. Ali gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Back and forth we go. Just missed with that right hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Under a minute now to go in this one. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice jab there. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, God. Huge left. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. <laughs> Seen land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble now. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. He's fighting much more aggressively. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. He misses with the right hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. Slips the punch. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. He's got some good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Sure, he's cut on his nose for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. 
Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. That's it. That's it. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Man. Oh, oh got to keep pressing here. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Choi's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Sir oh! Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach, and certainly is making it count in this one. Straight right is there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Ali's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. It's a pretty fast jab. 30 seconds to go in round two. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Joy is an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. Right. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the ringside position between rounds. All right, back to the stools now, right, signifying the end of the round. Man, his nose is mangled. It's severely cut up right now. I think the fight could end at any moment. We'll see what the cut man can do here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Clean punch. Beautiful jam. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! Oh, my goodness! That's a right hand! Choice. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both guys are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping to. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Ali's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that. Oh! He's hurt bad. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Ooh. Oh, big left. Rips the body there. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Straight punch. Useful. 
Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse. Closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, Under 90 seconds to go. Need some work, guys. Oh, effective use of the jab by Short. Back to the jab now. No good. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Muhammad Ali gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Fighters on point tonight lands a beautiful kick. Come on, let's go. Let's work. 30 seconds to go now. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. corner now. Choi's nose has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly Ready, what right. he wanted to accomplish and Ready. he got it done. He's Go. got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. Slips that left hand. Ali's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Oh, that's a nice strike. some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh! oh right under the elbow, right on the body. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe to toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely. Oh, oh he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. It's a right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. on his 
nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside physician is gonna get called in here in a moment. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win.